Sarah here from Singer's Advice. Thanks for joining me today. We are going to be looking at an exercise to help you really focus in on an interval of a fourth and an interval of a seventh. I like to mess things up a little bit. You know, this is based around a major scale, but I'm going to make it a little bit more exciting and a little bit more useful in finding other intervals. The basic one is one, one, two, one, one, two, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one which everybody kind of knows. So I like to get my students to mess about with this a bit, especially like in groups. I do this kind of like group stuff, but it's great for doing it on your own as well. We spend a lot of time concentrating on thirds and fifths and octaves. Let's think about a fourth and a seven. So we're gonna go one, one, two, one, one, two, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, Five six five four three two one one two three four five six seven six five four three two one one two three four five six seven eight seven six five four three two one on the way up coming down eight seven eight eight seven six seven eight eight seven six five six seven eight eight seven six five four five six seven eight eight seven six five four three four five six seven eight and that is how you make a major scale exercise more interesting <laughs> it really does annoy some of my students that one <laughs> so give it a try let me know what you think it's great doing it in a group and getting them to do it at different times and then you've got these really like clashy harmonies going um yeah, it's great. I like it. I'll see you next time at Singer's Advice.